Hey, how's it going folks? EG here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do a rewind. And here's a little demonstration right here. Okay. So let me go ahead and clear out all of this video clip here and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, first thing we're going to need is a piece of video. Let's go ahead and grab this one here. Drag it to the timeline and I want to make it so I can demonstrate to you. Let's make it a little bigger. And we're looking for the spot where we cross the bridge. Right here. So what I'm going to do is actually have it cross the bridge and then rewind back. Okay. So what you're going to do is use your R key on the keyboard, hold that down and drag your mouse or your trackpad until you get to the point where you want it to come backwards. So probably right about here is good enough. Okay. Now we're going to go up to the modify menu item here, go to rewind and I'm going to do it four times. Okay. Now let's have a look at what happened here. So let me turn down my speakers here. What happened is, um, iMovie actually put the, um, duplicated it and reversed it for you right here. So let's play it. Okay. So it's got the sound from the video itself, which I really don't care too much about. So for this demonstration, I'm going to mute this audio altogether and I'm going to grab a clip up here and I'm going to grab a piece of audio and drag it into the timeline. And let me shrink it again so I can work with this a little bit easier. I do not want it in the audio bed here. I want it actually underneath here. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, let me, I'm going to put my cursor right next to where the transition happens to rewind. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can actually see what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to play it, but I want to mark exactly where the rewind starts. Okay. So it's going forward, forward, forward. And right here it starts back. So I'll type M on the keyboard to put a little purple marker there and I'll slowly move it, move it, move it until it's going forward again, which is roughly right about there. So you notice it's not exactly on this marker here on the gray circle there. So I want the music to be exactly when that happens. So what I'm going to do is go down here and I'm going to click on the audio track and I'm going to split it. So I'm going to right click, split the clip right there. And then I'll do the same at the end of it. Click on this clip right here and head up to the speedometer dial here and then click reverse. So what I wanted to do is I want the music to play normal and I want it to play in reverse during the rewind section. Okay. So let's see what that looks like and sounds like. Maybe even make it a little louder to kind of accent it a little bit. Okay. So that's kind of basically the look and the sound that I'm going for. I want it to play normal music, normal music, normal music. And right when it's finished, I want to jump right back into normal music. Okay. And the reason why I put, I use these, these, uh, the M key to put a marker is because one thing I want to point out here is look at that space between where it's supposed to be starting and where it actually did. So there's enough of a gap here that on my video, if the audio started, playing in reverse before this, it wouldn't actually sound as good as I wanted to sound. And the same thing on the backside. Look, there's a little bit of a transition from reverse to forward here where the audio wouldn't sound perfectly right. So the timing would be off basically. So the reason why I put these little markers by typing the M on the keyboard, you can put them anywhere you want just to remind myself, you know, exactly where it started. And that way, when I make my uh, cuts in my music down here so that I can reverse it, it, it matches up more correctly with uh, the actual video itself. Okay. So again, it's pretty straightforward. Let me delete everything. You just grab a clip, drag it, select an area by holding down that R key to put your area where you want to rewind, go to modify, go to rewind and decide if you want 
one times, two times, or four times. And I kind of like it fast, so I usually kind of default to the four times here. And then the actual clip will do that for you. Okay. Well, I think that's it for the tutorial today. I want to thank you for watching. As usual, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and all that wonderful jazz. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace and aloha. Bye.